Hello and welcome to Zip Watch TV. Today on Zip Watch TV, we have 2017 ICT BZ Pass question. Now, BZ questions are not given to students after the paper, but we've seen our way out to get a question so that we can solve with you guys, uh, so that you understand certain things as far as ICT is concerned, how they repeat questions and um, uh, uh, and the likes. Now, we've solved all from 2010 to 2020 so you can check on your right side you see their playlist over there and also you check in the description you see more videos over there now if you've not subscribed subscribe to the channel click on the notification like the video and share for someone else to also learn thank you very much for being here now let's get straight away now number one we have a table a spreadsheet table with some figures and some um, writings in it and we have to answer questions on that particular uh, diagram, he said, outline the steps. That's the A, what one E, I. Outline the steps by which serial number 1, 2 to 7 were generated without typing them one by one. Now, what it means is that this side of it, this side, this side, okay, we should uh, write in a different way how we can generate all those numbers without typing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, now it is simple. It is very, 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 very simple. Now, first you enter one in. You see, one is written in. Okay, so this is how you write it. Now, this column is A3. So you type one in A3, you type two in A4. After that, you select A, um, uh, this and that. That's the one in A3 and A4. Then you drag to A7. You see that the numbers will arrange up to a7 that's what you do or you pull from the a2 you pull it to uh, down here and it will arrange from three four five six seven in addition so that's how you write it okay mm -hmm. so you you say um you can say enter one in uh, a3 and you enter two in a4 this one you enter this one this one you enter then you select a3 and a4 so you select the two now you 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 click on the bottom right corner of the result after you select it you come and click here this this bottom corner this is what they are talking about okay this side uh -huh. so uh, you click the bottom corner click the button corner corner then then you pull uh, you pull to say nine then you pull to cell nine then it will arrange for you so that is that for uh, I so let's go to I, I. it says that um, what is the cell address in which mass is entered so let's go back and see so mass is ended in D2. You can see that this is D and this is 2. So mass is entered in D2. So you just write D2, then you are gone. Okay. So mass is entered in D2. Okay, then the next one it says that write down the range, the cell range in which basic, uh, basic class result 3 it was typed. Now, uh, basic class result 3, it is typed between uh, a1 to J1 A1 to J1 okay uh -huh. so that's where it was typed okay uh -huh. so you can write A1 colon J1 that is where it was typed now the next one says that um, write down the spreadsheet formula Spread, write down the spreadsheet formula that was used in computing the total value 202 in cell G5 so let's go to G5 so this is G5 G5 is here okay so how did we get this is the addition of this this and that that give us this right so you it is this column that's D D5 plus E5 plus F5 that gives us what this one so that's what we will, we will write over there okay so that is equal to D5 plus E5 plus F5, okay?
okay if you don't bring the equal to at the start you are wrong please try and bring it now the next one says write write the spreadsheet function used in the compute in computing the total 417 in cell 9 this one is a function the first one is a formula so function and formula after we write the function we will know the difference between the function and the formula now so let's, let's go up and see cell e9 so this cell e and this cell e9 so it's the addition of all this one right so the the cell is you write the first you write this name that's e3 then so to be equal to sum okay bracket e3 colon uh, e8 then you close it that is the function so that's the difference between the function and the let me write it again here so it is equal to the sum okay e3 colon e8 then close when you press enter it will calculate for you automatically now it says how many cells uh how many cells are in the cell range c3 to c6 uh, e6 so where is c3 c3 is here okay to this side how many cells so the cells between here and here you just add the cell and add the cell so one two three four five six and one two three four five six so that's 12 cells okay that's 12 cells mm -hmm. that's 12 then you, you just you just you, you just get your mouth like that and you go now the next one says you outline the proper way of shutting down the computer after using it now i think uh the previous year 2016 it was there so we will discuss this one so the proper way of shutting down one the first one is um you will uh then uh, you you close all programs that have been open on the computer that's the first one now two you click on the start uh, button of the computer three you click on uh, shut down then after that you go to the next day uh, so after you click on shut down the, ma the machine will shut down nicely then you you turn off the power socket you turn off the power socket then also you will uh, uh remove it from the socket uh, wall socket right so that is the correct way to shut down a computer okay uh -huh. then the next one says that identify the following web browsers these are all web browsers so you identify them now the first one is internet explorer we call it internet explorer okay and this one is mozilla firefox and this one is Opera Mini. So these are the names for these these ones. Okay. Okay. Now the next. Uh, now we are, we are we are now at the B. It says that state uh, three uses of the Shift key on a computer keyboard. Now uh, every keyboard has that particular key. That's the Shift key. It does a lot of things. Now these are some of the things that it does. They say we should give three, but I'll try and give like four or five. So let's pay attention. Now, uh, uh, it is used to type capital letters, okay, and it is also used, so one, it is used to type capital letters, two, you can write, it is used to type small letters, okay, uh -huh. then, three, it is used to type uh, 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 symbols, okay, you can use to type some symbols, yes, it is used to type symbols, then four, um, it is used to play games, in some in some odd, uh, in some in some time you use the shift key and some keys to play game okay uh -huh. now it's it's also combined to other characters to give uh, a special text okay so these are some of the things uh, of the shift key okay uh, the fun uh, what it does okay now hdd means hard disk drive hard disk drive then uh, VDU means visual visual display unit. Okay. Then uh, BIOS it means basic input 
and output system okay so that is it now we are we want the functions we should say two functions of um input device okay so um input device gives command to the computer so one it gives command to the computer and also presents the computer with data and that's i i it presents the computer with data okay so uh, it changes human language to uh, computer language because computer has its own, own language right so it changed our our language to uh, computer language okay now so i think three will be okay for here so let's move the next one says um performed by an output device so functions performed by an output device now okay so output device um it 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 indicates what the computer needs from us now that is uh, let's look at the monitor for instance if the computer needs something we still look at it from the, the monitor so it gives us what the computer wants one from s okay maybe if there's a virus on the computer uh, the antivirus will show when it shows i see so it gives giving it's telling me something that it, it needs what antivirus right good and also it provides um uh, it provides pro process store data for users it's 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 it, it, it also store data for s okay okay so these are also some over there now we are to uh, match these uh we, we, we have to match these items now we are matching where we use these items okay so speedometer see speedometer is used at the hospital electric stove is used uh, at home so i'll come here home money counter machine is used at the bank it can also be used at the school and x-ray machine is used uh, in the hospital okay so this is what you can get and the counting machine too can also be used in the school right in the hospital too it can be used okay okay so the next one says that the number four says that we should state three ways through which computer may be damaged now here are they we let, let's discuss it now when we expose it to too much dust it can damage the computer now when we expose it to excess too much of heat it can also damage the computer and also lack of power maintenance if uh, your lighting system is on and off it can also damage your computer when you expose your computer to infected virus you make virus affected it, it can uh, damage your computer uh, okay so uh, and also um, uh, if you are not an expert and you try to fix your own computer it can also damage your computer so these are some of the things that can uh, waste to damage your computer okay now the b says that we should list them um, the specific areas of learning where ICT2 can be integrated. Oh, a lot of them. All the subjects that uh, we are we are teaching in our schools, we can use ICT. Talk of math, science, English, French, uh, any subject at all. We can uh, one way or the other use um, uh, ICT with it. Now the C part says that we should list three devices that may be used for transmission of messages on the internet. Now computer okay computer uh, modem telephone router mobile phone and and the, and the like this questions it's, it's in it, it, it has appeared like two two years back since i started solving i've seen it like twice or thrice okay so uh, uh they just repeat the questions for us here uh, but they just change one or two things okay so it's the same thing that we are going to do again you said number five say that the operation system uh, makes it easier to store files okay uh, in places that makes a lot of sense give the default folder or storage area for the following now uh, when we are we have we have we have we are we have these files where is the default place it will go now if we have a text file it will go to document when you save a text file and you're looking for it at the first time don't go and look for it anywhere just go to document and you see it over there so that's the default place okay now image in the image when you download an image you go to my pictures on the on uh, on the computer and it is there and music too you go to my music okay that is their default location okay that's their default location 
Now, right now, the B says write down the shortcut keys combination for the following commands as used in word process. Now, when you are using word, uh, what are the shortcut keys? When you, you when you made a mistake and you realize that the mistake was not a mistake, so you have to undo and go back to where you have. You just it's control. So you write the C T R L. Then you you hold the C T R L. Then you add Z. It will undo it for you. If you want to find something, it's the same C T R L. Then you press F. You you, you hold the C T R L. Then you press uh, uh, F. Okay. Now for select all, you you hold C T R L. Then you add A. It will select everything on the page for you. Okay. Now um, the C part says that um, we should list the three toolbars available in word processing. Okay, two bars. So we have standard two bar. Okay, we have standard two bar. We have formatting two bar. We have uh, drawing two bar. We have drawing two bar. We have um, uh, ribbons. We have uh, uh, forms. We have a lot of two bars. Okay, and a lot of two bars. So these are the discussion version of the 2017 BECE. I hope you enjoyed the discussion. Thank you very much for your time and I'm so grateful uh, you are here. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll see you again soon. Thank you.